If you just got the new Elgato teleprompter with the foot pedal attachment and you have no idea how to set everything up and how to make sure that everything works effectively, this is the exact video that you need to be watching. In this video, we're going to be going over pretty much how to make sure that you have the right software both for the Elgato teleprompter and the Elgato foot pedal. I'm Manager John, and in this video, we really just want to focus on workflows and making sure that everything is comprehensive with one another because I initially had worked with a client, and when we went to set up our foot pedal to our teleprompter, there were a couple things that we were missing that we couldn't necessarily find online. We went through a deep dive directly with Elgato on how to fix this problem, and now we're giving the information for you in this video. When you're looking at Elgato software, as well as Elgato hardware, it's extremely important for you to know that the plugins are the bridge that connect everything. So you're gonna be spending a lot of time in Elgato Marketplace, downloading plugins, updating new and improved software updates, so that you can have the cleanest and up-to-date setup for your hardware. If you guys have any questions in regards to this tutorial, make sure that you write a comment below if there's any questions that you have or are there any things that are unclear so that we can make sure that we can clean them up for you. So the first thing as far as software that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna download Camera Hub for your Windows or your Mac OS system. And then number two is you're going to want to download the Stream Deck software as well. Those are two key things that you need to make sure that you download and you fully update them within your software system. It's going to be essential for connecting everything. As soon as you set up your teleprompter, you might notice that there is a blinking screen or a blue screen, and that is because it is not reading your actual set up in your system yet, which is why we have to download Camera Hub. Your Camera Hub is essentially your control panel for everything. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to do that. Connect the USB-C directly to your connector. If you have a USB-C port, great. If you do not, this goes from USB-C to USB-3. So you're gonna want a converter. I would highly recommend that you get an Apple Thunderbolt converter which was recommended directly from Elgato themselves as a best way to make sure that everything is fluid and you don't have to deal with as many problems. So connect that first to your computer, open up Camera Hub on your software within the marketplace. Now, once you do that, you should see a screen similar to this here. Now, what you notice in here is there's display, content, appearance, scrolling, overlays. Those are all going to be things that we are going to dive into a little bit later. But right now, we just want to make sure that the teleprompter is working. Next, we want to tether our Stream Deck foot pedal. So the way you're going to do that is there's a USB-C port on the back here. And very similarly, connect the USB-C to the same port that you have there as well. Um, when you go to set this up, you are going to want to then download Elgato Stream Deck. The Stream Deck allows you to connect yourself to any sort of pedal. This is basically like your control board for everything that you have that is switcher based or based on just like controls and button control. And then you want to make sure that you download specifically Camera Hub from the marketplace. And this was the key ingredient that separated everything. You want to physically go to marketplace dot elgato.com and you want to search camera hub once you do that you're going to get it you're going to download it you're going to always allow it to connect to whether it's your audio or just overall your interface now as soon as you plug this in your stream deck will recognize that there is a foot pedal it's essential that when you first set up your foot pedal you really know what you want to do for this we want to use a foot pedal to utilize for our script. Initially, when you set up your Stream Deck, it has three slots that are completely empty. You're going to want to click on Camera Hub. You're going to want to go down to where it says Prompter Control. And then you're going to want to drag and drop that Prompter Control 
feature onto one of the three open squares in your Stream Deck software. And then you're going to see the settings. It's going to say play and pause. You're going to see a drop down. It'll say scroll and then select. So we press play, continues on the scroll, press pause. Now that is how we begin play and pause. Now, if you want to go in reverse, what you're going to do is you're going to copy that key that you just did and you're going to put it over onto the right square that you see on your Stream Deck pedal and you're going to paste it there and you're going to go to scroll. And now what you want to do is the plus sign. Say I messed up a couple lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the plus and hold it. And what it's going to do is going to move back throughout your script so that you can have optimum efficiency when trying to figure out, say, hey, I want to redo this section. Let me just go back. So that is the setup for your Stream Deck pedal. There are some amazing features that we have in it. What you're going to notice is that you can create profiles based off the type of people that are utilizing the teleprompter. You just go up to where it says default profile, you click new profile, and then it will create a new profile for you that you can edit and rename. In regards to the foot pedal teleprompter setup, that is exactly how you are going to make sure that you can have a flawless teleprompter script and not have to worry about having your computer in frame and you can just focus on using the hotkeys that's why I like to call them hotkeys for your Stream Deck to reverse, go forward, and to press play. There are other features within the teleprompter that we're going to go through in a later video, including the voice control. Elgato just released an upgrade that will allow you to be able to talk to your teleprompter and it can hear where you are in your script and continue the script on as it hears you go through it, which can be super helpful and another profile that you can add within your own Stream Deck foot pedal. But if you like this video, make sure that you comment below the things that helped you. But even more so, comment the things that you're still working through. We are going to have a second video with the teleprompter going through all the features that it has to offer and how you can really customize it to be able to get the maximum amount of value out of your teleprompter setup. I would love to hear some of the things that you're dealing with with your Elgato setups so that we can continue to make videos for the future and go ahead and comment below if you found this video helpful and if you're still working through things as we would love to help you in the comment section below. We are here in 180 Contractors. We have just started utilizing this setup which has been a game changer for training videos, long form videos, videos that need scripts because we can't rely on our sole memory. Make sure that you click the next video that is going to be right around here for the full features that Elgato has to offer. I'm Andrew John and I'll see you on the next video.